Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and today I wanna to share with you what might be my worst electric bill ever, and that's with solar. So a couple of years back, I installed solar myself on my garage. Overall, it's been great, uh, really reducing my electric bill. Most months completely eliminating it, and even uh, the months where it wasn't completely eliminated, I'd usually have a rollover credit from energy that I'd produced but this is my February electric bill, which means it's for the previous month, January. And in the Northern Hemisphere, January has very, very short days and very cold temperatures. So in my garage, I've been running the heat quite a lot. I've been working in there and I have hydronic heat, but it's powered by an electric micro boiler. So I think this might be the most expensive electric bill I've literally ever had at this property. I'm gonna open it live here so that we can see what it comes to. I'm afraid that this time it's gonna be a little bit of a shocker, but uh, let's see what our number is. And the bottom line number, mm, current charges, $94.79. Uh, frankly, that's less than I thought it was going to be, but I'm also on a time of use plan, so I charge electric vehicles, at night off peak hours. And the other thing is I'm only running the heat at that time too. Since the hydronic is heating the concrete floor, uh, I get a nice stable temperature. I can actually heat the garage when electricity is cheap and then use the garage when electricity is expensive, but it's warm in there because of the accumulated, uh, the flywheel effect of the heat in the thermal mass of the concrete. So what happened here is I, wow. <laughs> Energy usage, uh, off-peak energy usage, 1,375 kilowatt hours. I used over a megawatt hour of energy this past month, holy cow. But it was all at off-peak times. Now, the other thing is I did still have a credit with the power company, so even though I would owe uh, 95 bucks, that's just being taken out of my uh, the credit that I have with the power company. And in fact, I still have left $294.55. Uh, if we look on the back of my bill, um, we've got a chart of negative numbers in the summer and then a massive spike for this past month. So, holy cow, yes, I used a heck of a lot of energy, but at the same time, um, I've basically also produced all that energy. Now, not necessarily in this month. This past summer, I was really overproducing electricity. I was banking the credits with my power company. Now, not everybody can do that. That depends on who you have for a power utility. I'm fortunate enough to have a very good one. It's a co-op. Uh, it's a publicly owned utility. They've been great to work with. Um, but the details of how all that works does very much depend on who your power company is. So I guess right now I'm pretty thrilled. I was staying warm when working in my shop, um, but at the same time, because of the peak, off-peak uh, rates of electricity and the credit that I'd already built during the summer, uh, not only did it keep the electric bill reasonable, but uh, the power company still owes me money. Now, if you wanna see what my uh, solar panels are doing right now, check out the link in the video description because I actually have uh, live information about my solar on a web page. You can link straight to it. Uh, check out the entire system. Uh, also check it out at 300mpg.org. I have a write-up on uh, the details of the system as well. So until next time, stay charged up.